In this video, I'm going to be covering a brand new feature in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.5. So if you're not using that particular version or you're not up to date with that version, just make sure you've updated to it. Otherwise, you won't see it and that might be a bit frustrating. But it's basically much like the what the font feature on myfonts.com, which is a font matching service. So essentially, Photoshop will automatically try to match a font from an image that you choose to make it really easy for you to kind of figure out what font might be similar to the one you're trying to close match or gain inspiration from. So to do this is actually pretty darn easy to do. Just type out the word you want to type out once you have that image loaded up. So on top of it, I'm just going to hit the type tool and type out this word, Cara Larga. I just randomly found this packaging design to try to see how close Photoshop would get to matching. I actually have no idea if it's going to do a good job or not. Hopefully it does at least a decent job for the purpose of this video. But once you have that typed out and ready to go in your layers palette, just make sure that the type layer is selected and that the image with the type that you want to try to match is opened up as well. And then using the rectangular marquee tool, which is up here in your toolbar, looks like a rectangle dotted lines or hit M on your keyboard to use it. Just draw a box around the word that you want to try to match the style of. And keep in mind that you do want to keep your type layer selected in your layers palette. And also, as you can see with this example, it is nice to make sure that the word is somewhat set apart. If it has a bunch of stuff overlapping it or if it's really busy, I have a feeling that this won't work too well. So in this example, it's very clear cut. So I'm hoping I get some decent results to use the feature. Once you've done the steps I've just shown, you just have to go up to type. And then from the type menu, about halfway down right below warp text, there's one called match font. Just click that which will bring up the dialog box right here. And also, as you can see, it's showing the area that you've selected and that it's trying to match. And it will look for both things on your computer that you already have installed, in which case there aren't any for this particular font. And then it also shows Typekit, which are these examples shown right here. And there's a little checkbox that says show fonts available to sync from Typekit. You'll probably want that selected. If you have fonts on your computer that are super similar, you can actually just click them and toggle them. And your actual font right here will update in in real time. But for anyone like all of these are, that is type kit, you just have to select the one that you want to use. And I have a feeling that it basically puts the best or closest matching example up the top. And then it probably goes down from there, although I'm not totally sure on that. To use it though, there's a little icon that looks like a cloud with a down arrow next to the font name, just to the left of it. Just click on that cloud icon right there. And then it's going to go ahead and sync that font option. So as you can see, it updated that and it's shown right here on my screen. And it actually did a pretty darn good Good job. This looks like a very similar font, although not an exact match. So I'll go ahead and check the next one right here. Just click on the little cloud icon so it downloads it and tries to match it up. And as you can see, it updated it to the new example. And now that I have two fonts that are currently active on my computer, I can just click on these really quickly and it changes those in real time. So it's a super awesome feature for just quickly kind of checking different options, picking what's best, and then going from there. So as you can see, it's not an exact match. Like if you're looking for exact matches with fonts, I have a feeling that this won't be a perfect solution most of the time, but it is very, very close to this example to what is down right here. This could even be a custom type example for all I know. I totally don't know, but all in all, this was really easy to do. And if you're just trying to get a close approximation of a font to kind of capture that font's feel or that font's general style, this is a really good way to quickly get some results that you can then see in real time on your design, which is a super cool thing for a fast workflow, as opposed to getting a screenshot of the font, trying to search online for similar fonts. Like that's just not fun and it's really time consuming. So for that alone, I think this is an awesome feature. And hopefully as they continue to get data on how people are using this and stuff, they'll just keep on improving the actual font matching algorithm until it becomes nearly perfect most of the time. But that's it for this tutorial. I do hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please like and favorite and feel free to leave any comments in the comment section over how you feel about this feature and if you'll get any good use out of it. And if you want to see stuff like this every week, please subscribe. I do my best to keep new content just like this for illustrators and designers. Thanks so much for watching.